Hi, welcome to today's video. You've most likely used moving average in your trading. It's one of the most basic tools used by thousands of traders and analysts. In trading, the moving average is commonly used as a trend following indicator, and that is to determine whether a market is trending. Most commonly, you'd use two moving averages, and if the one with the shorter period crosses above the longer one, you deem the market to be trending up just like on the chart on my screen. I use moving average in a similar way myself in one of my momentum strategies that I trade as a part of my fully automated trading system portfolio. This strategy has shown consistent results visible on this equity curve. And so there is no doubt that the moving average is useful when used as a trend following indicator. However, there are different ways of using the moving average besides this vanilla trend following one. Let me walk you through one particular use case of the moving average in this video, one that's different to what you've likely come across so far. To be more specific, it is to use the moving average as an indicator for mean reversion trading rather than trend following. Despite this may sound a bit counterintuitive, I personally found the moving average, specifically the exponential moving average, to be quite useful as a mean reversion trigger. Let me show you how to do that. We will go over a simple EMA mean reversion system. As always, the data I will share in this video is based on accurate historical backtests with realistic trading assumptions. All my tests are 100% mechanical, conducted using professional trading development software. They include trading commissions and take historical index constituents into the account. This is in contrast with the vast majority of trading related content here on YouTube, which is either very subjective and can't be accurately validated on historical data or doesn't take realistic trading assumptions into the account either by neglect or by design. If you value my content, then may I suggest that you subscribe to my channel, which will help others to discover my content as well. Thank you. Let's start. I'm going to use the moving average in the exact opposite way to how most people use it, to trade against the direction of the market. I'm going to take the exponential moving average, EMA, and work out how much is the current closing price stretched from it. The EMA is plotted on my chart in green here. And as we can see, the current day closed below the EMA. Our trading logic is therefore simple. We work out how much has the closing price stretched below the EMA. And if this stretch is greater than a certain constant number, we try to buy the market. What we're doing here is we're speculating that the market is likely stretched too far from the moving average and that it is likely to revert back uh, to the moving average now. The exact formula is shown on the screen. On the top line, I calculate the stretch from the EMA as I've just described it. And on the bottom line, I determine my buy level. I take the closing price, subtract three quarters of the ATR from it. I use ATR extensively in my strategies and covered it in my recent videos. Now, the two uh, logical questions at this stage are what period of EMA to use and how much of a stretch uh, do we want to see in the market before trying to buy it? To answer these questions, let's run a simple optimization. I will use Ami Broker, which is a specialized trading strategy development software to do this. I'm going to test um, different combinations of EMA period and the stretch constant on all of Russell 3000 stocks over the past 13 years. I will test EMA stretch constants ranging from 0.2% to 1% and EMA periods ranging from four days to 30 days. Now there is a 30 in the stable. My screen here is just not visible. Word of caution, I optimized on all my available data, which is not recommended as you are likely to introduce what's referred to um, as uh, curve fitting. But for the purposes of this video, just to simplify things, I ran the optimization on my entire data set. Uh, when optimizing trading system variables, I recommend that you follow the in sample, out of sample approach, but I'm sure you know that already. Anyway, all test iterations are shown on my screen now. 
I'm going to sort these using sharp ratio, which I use most of the time. In short, the higher this ratio is, the more consistent the returns are, which is obviously better than less consistent returns. And we can see that there's a clear winner in terms of the EMA stretch percentage. 0.6%. Despite I didn't analyze these results a great deal, I think this generally makes sense. In case of lower stretch constants, the filter is just not stringent enough, and in case of um, higher stretch constants, such as 1%, we don't have enough of a trade count, and provided that there's a positive expectancy, uh, higher the trade count, uh, the higher the edge, or the, the greater uh, usage of the edge in the market. So I think it uh, generally makes sense. Interestingly, uh, it didn't really matter what the EMA period was in this optimization. Here's a look at the individual trade uh, profit and loss distribution belonging to the top variable combination from my previous screen. This distribution is typical to mean reversion systems. Vast majority of trades fall in a certain range with a few outliers, both positive and negative. And what's worth pointing out is that there is a very little variance between the worst variable combination and the best one. The red equity curve is the best combination, so the one that ranked at the very top of the table that was shown on my previous screen. And the blue equity curve is the worst combination. And we can see that these do not differ that much, uh, which is in fact a positive takeaway as it would suggest that the parameters, so the EMA stretch and EMA period, are overall quite stable. This should, in theory, lower the chance of over-optimization. I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, consider watching others, such as the one being shown on the screen right now. My name is David, and you've been watching Critical Trading. See you in the next one.